Keisha Rora I go enter your wrist Love you pass Mula Love you like this Baby Keisha Rora I go enter your wrist She no money you want Cause you want your baby She no money you want Cause you want your baby
uh, even though the Lagos State Governor, as much as possible, tried to do a lot of um, um, solve a lot of issues, like what, what he did last week, he wasn't the president, he's not the president of Nigeria, but he went ahead to the Nigeria, to the um, International Airport to see about this COVID-19 thing. Hey, hey, go for it. Sure. Well, that's not right now this is my first question that you mentioned this man, this is kind of an intellectual. You know, uh, in, in, in no end of the show, I just want to uh, welcome you this afternoon for the coming session of this uh, segment. Uh, Mr. Olajipo, Olajipo, Pirates, is a wolf, Aguila, the FD. They are very, very clear of the answer, I'll give you the answer and give you light to the first seven. We will also give you cooking gas. At the touch of a button, prepare as you go, cook your food, and gas is supplied. You don't have to go looking for gas, you don't have to go looking for generators, everything is provided. So if and when you are tested, we can even look at what you are doing at the moment, and incorporate it here inside it so we can get the permit so we can drive this tunnel from 20 to the end. The major thing we 
we need to think about in terms of actualizing our hopes is by laying down proper policies. Policies, policies, policies. Government have no business in business. Government as simple as that. Housing is an expensive project anywhere in the world. Housing is not cheap. Policies ensure that it is manageable. Policies ensure it is manageable. There's no way in the world where housing is cheap. Having said that, it is the right of every human being in life to own a home. You look at that and you ask yourself, is it most expensive? You want to to own it and how is it possible? So come back into the policy. Uh, my girlfriend here just asked me a beautiful question. What are we doing? Okay, can I just have to, so that's the main thing we were talking about. So when we talk about land, like Prof said, we should give the land away. Okay. That's what we're saying. Give the land to the project. So I think we're saying the same thing. When I talk about them providing infrastructure, I'm talking about providing road. Because you can't give me land or I can't find land that I don't have roads to get to. Because we talk, when we talk about real estate and development, we're talking about location, location, location. Yeah. And accessibility is important. Roads, transportation, an individual cannot just go and use a road because he wants to build an estate. That is what the government has to provide. And that's the partnership. And that's the partnership. Roads, transportation, and then the private sector will come in there with his own funding and build. Okay. The um, the prof actually just, you know, like when you're writing a, a speech or something, people do their points. The prof summarizes it by saying policy, 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 and need to break down. When you're writing speeches or you're writing programs, you're writing essays for students, they are different styles. What, um, <laughs> I'm a educationist myself. Um, what Mr. Uh, um, Souza has done is just to kind of pinpoint them without actually capping them up and making it do their content out. But as it is, they said the same thing in, in different ways. Thank you very much, Mr. Souza. You want to respond, but I won't, I won't let you respond now. Just a little addition here. I'm jacking my <laughs> Prof, I know you are because you are the oldest here. Yeah. I will allow you. I will allow you. Let me explain it. You are the chairman. Okay, sir. Okay. Um, my, my issue here is a, is a, a friend, I don't know why a friend of mine, when I went to business, uh, I don't know, gets out of uh, this first tenure, the big second one comes, he will have done a lot and they have put lives on the aspect of infrastructure, housing, for the legacy. Kudos to the government, Mr. President. Yeah, Until our trailers come here. What are the length of thinking about as they do, pushing it to the big estate? If they can be regulated to convert a certain percent of hospitality business into service. Sir? Yes, yes, yes. A lot of your apartment is paying a parking. A lot of the negotiations, like I said, led to the input. If hoteliers are made to give a certain percentage of their accommodation out every month, I know they will make more money and let us do better for it. And then number three, coming to the issue of traffic. Um, the man, the agent man, I want to tell you this, there's good news. We want to harmonize. If you want to rent a place in Lagos, I think it's only proper part of the form you feel tells us where you work. A lot of us want to create the impression that we are big boys and big babes by living on the island and working in Alosa. They create a lot of nuisance on the road traffic. I think you should live very close to where you work. If you're living at Sunere, I'm a Lagos State Officer. I think it's very proper you live near your office so that you can actually check to your workplace. 
Well, um, the governor or the government generally before now, even before the present governor, has always um, had developmental plans and Lagos State as it is has its developmental plan as well as its uh, master plan. Um, if you find out that most of those uh, uh, properties where you find out that um, they, are, they are actually intertwined with either building on the, under the um, high tension cables or building along the pipeline cable or gas plant, those were not what was in the master plan earlier. Um, some of these people, they should change the government by not actually doing the due process, uh, process um, ideology of um, ensuring that they take um, the approval, they go, they back the got corners to um, see how they can beat the government to it. Some of them are indigenous people who actually maybe own the land as, as against community land from their family and all that, instead of them to come to the government to actually follow and check where those um, properties fall in within the, within the master plan. They don't do that. They just sell their lands to individuals and people generally. And for example, if somebody sell a land to you, you believe that you have paid for the land without following the building codes or following the master plan. For, I mean, if, for example, you, you want to buy a land, you have the uh, fiduciary um, right or honors on you as a, as a buyer to check with the lands registry or the lands bureau what and where does that land fall within. Is it under high tension cable? Is it within the um, pipeline? Is it within a gas plant? So that you don't even endanger your life. And Mr. Governor, Mr. Papajilo Sawolu, has always, you know, stick, is a, is a man of process, is a man who is experienced in governance, he's been in governance in and out. And now he's the man at the end of affairs. He understands this and he has always delineated to say that people should follow processes. You should ensure if you want to buy a land or buy property or even if it's your family land, go to the land bureau, check with the um, people in government to check the master plan, to check is it adequate because it's, I mean the highest can say well, I, there's a land that I can build but what is the radius, what is the meter range, what is the meter between your land and the high tension cable. What is the meter between your land and the road? Because in the master plan, it is delineated there that this is particular area where the road will pass through, the gas pipeline will pass through. Those things are already there. But because of everybody feeling to want to get accommodation at all costs, they don't care and they just keep on building. So that is one of the problems that we, we find ourselves. And that is what has happened in the uh, recent um, Abuleado um, gas plant, you know. All right, thank you. Adra Local Estate Limited also. We're also making our contribution to help the housing deficit in Lagos by actually providing affordable and flexible payment plan for people, really. We have a lot of estates that are actually affordable for people to buy and there are installment plans for them to actually structure their payments. Okay. Okay. So, uh, I know uh, as, a, as, a, as a private uh, sector, the government 
most times say that they can't do it with the target. Invest. Investors. Investors to come in. Okay. What, what has the company done, especially in Lagos State, to really, you know, partner with God in Lagos State and, and help, you know, move, uh, you know, help provide homes, especially affordable homes for, for the people in Lagos. All right, thank you. Yes, the Lagos State talks about the um, private partnership with um, real estate investors, really. And we're hoping that with this lateral registration, which is actually, we've been asked to register with the Lagos State body, really. We hope that the government will be able to identify real estate owners who are sincere and who are ready to work, really, and actually go into partnership with them, really. Okay, lastly, so can you tell us a little bit about uh, um, areas that you just need to Tell us more about the uh, Oh, okay. That Dark Real Estate Limited is actually a young company, young growing company. It's about over two years right now, and I can tell you that we have about four estates right now. We have um, the Lakowe for land, and we have housing at LBS side also. And basically what we do is provide housing for people. And not even beyond housing, also, we're actually helping the Nigerian population also to get employment, really. And our vision as an organization is not just to build a real estate organization that just sells to people also, but that also improves life of the employee, really. And we're looking forward to the restructuring coming up in the real estate sector. And we're positioning ourselves, actually, to be one of the top real estate investors that even staff can work for us and they will be part of working for us because they gain skills and why also the population at large also benefit from the product we have to offer them really anyway uh, what do you want to say about that Oh, okay. It's amazing, really, because we also we've always looked forward to having that word because we know we we'll get it because of our vision as an organization. I can tell you that we look forward to actually helping people get out. Accessibility is our core, really. People are accessible to us, and we give affordable housing estates and plan also. Thank you.